Hello, this is Inferno, and today I'm going to be showing off some features in the 12D engine that I've recently added. Uh, let's go ahead and start up a multiplayer server. Once it's started, you load a map like anything. So, slash load hang em high. VSP loads up. Then uh, run net start, which starts up the server. Right now, I just have, like, you know, name default, MOTD none, port 2004, players 32. And uh, those are just you know default settings. You can change that around all you want. Any commands like a net name, net MOTD, net player limits, stuff like that. Um, I went ahead and loaded a client. I'm going to join the server on the client. And as you see, we're just in the standard like you join the server but you haven't spawned yet, so everything is like you're, you're just kind of floating there. You're just a floating camera. And uh, down it says, you know, welcome to the server, and then in front of us, join the cam. So if you have P, you're going to join team zero, and then ready. I'm just going to spawn, so now we're an actual player in the game. And uh, the physics are still a bit wonky. I haven't finished working on it yet. Um, you know, since we're now a player, yeah, we can walk around and stuff. And uh, the server can check on players slash players as a local host Inferno95. And we can do also slash objects to see objects in the world. Let's see, biped Inferno plus 95 and ID 1 at location. And then we also have uh, the ability to, uh, the server can TP and then 1 for the an ID of the player, 000, to teleport the player. And uh, also to slash Fusroda 0, 20, 0, and push a player. Say, like in a, in a variable direction, it's just a vector, as in like 0 or XYZ. And then um, we also have a couple other commands. You can also kill players by typing destroy. Oh, destroy kills the player, it says Fern95 has died in the chat, which, yeah, he was destroyed. So, uh, basic, you know, basic server control is in there. We also have, uh, go ahead and bring in another player. That's not the right thing I wanted to do. Computers not being happy with so much stuff running. Go ahead and join the server on a second client. Actually, move some right over here. So uh, yeah, both players are just kind of floating right now. We're gonna join Team Zero and ready. As you can see, you can actually see uh, a player spawned in right there. This is still floating cam. We're gonna spawn him in as well. So now we have two players in the world: uh, Inferno 62 and Inferno 95. I use just random integer names when I'm testing like this. Uh, as you can see, we have the players jumping and whatnot, and uh, we're also going to show off uh, the next little thing. Uh, on the server, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do the freeze the computer thing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just say in the command of just mean hello. And down there we have this hello that he's heloing with. And then uh, we also have the command spawn and then an object, which uh, objects are abstracted as files like this. Uh, as you see, we have ob object, item, broken key, invisible art, silent music, useless. And these files are just like. Uh, just like uh, specifications, like the class, I, it's a item class, name, useless item with this model, and that's all it really is to it. You know, eventually it'll be like, you know, you have weapons and you'll have all the little, it'll be like tagging basically from Halo if you've ever messed with that before. Uh, but yeah, the actual classes are templates and these little uh, files fill out the templates, so. We're gonna go ahead and spawn one of them. We're gonna go do item or 
object item and then we're going to do broken key and it spawned a broken key which is just a box but uh that's what is considered as a broken key and uh if I, I can show my inventory and uh i'm gonna have my player pick up the key and now it's in my inventory it says one broken key as in the first slot of your inventory contains a broken key and i'll take it over here and i'm going to give the broken key to uh mr other guy by hitting one to drop it oh Oh, crap, I lost keyboard focus. It's still a bug on this. But, uh... I'm going to go ahead and spawn another one. Object item. Invisible art. Spawned an invisible art here. Go ahead and pick up the invisible art. Now have one invisible art in our inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it. It's right there now. And, uh. Ah, keyboard focus bug. Uh. The problem is, uh. When you. Apply keyboard focus to a text area on the menu, it currently disables certain commands. Uh. I'll fix it eventually. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and log out of that with that player who lost the keyboard focus and bring another player in. Whoa. whoa. My computer's not happy with me right now. I'm doing too much stuff. Anyways, we're going to join the server. And, uh, you know what? While we're at it, let me see our player down there. Uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and change the map. Do slash load blood gulch. Now we're on blood gulch. Both the players are in free cam mode since we changed map. So we're we'll going to P and join team hero. Ready. And there you go. Now we have a player down there. Poor guy is like just out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, go ahead and bring in the other player as well. Join team and ready. See. Landing down here on the ground in the middle of Blood Gulch. And uh, let's go ahead and spawn in an item. No, yeah, over here. Slash spawn object item useless. Just spawn a useless item. And it just lands right there on the ground. It's kind of bouncing because of a physics bug. Uh, go ahead and pick it up. This player has the item now in his inventory. He can go over here and he can drop it for this player. And then pick it up. Now he has it in his inventory. And it's a pretty simple system. And it's going to be, I'm going to, you know, it's just an abstraction of what will later on be like an inventory system. And uh, go ahead and spawn object item. Uh, yes, cat. Hello, cat. Um... Go ahead and just silent music. So now we have some silent music. It's delicious. Drop it right there. Player picks it up. There we go. Got it. And you know, it's it's a pretty simple system. And I mean that's all I really have to show today. I mean there's not much else really uh I'm trying to think of other stuff I've added. I mean, aside from the netcode stability thing, um, I've gone through, I've messed with physics, I've abstracted out uh, how physics works so I can later on actually code good physics in. Uh, my cat is being so <laughs> stop it. Uh, let me think. I redid almost all of how, uh, how uh, BSPs are saved. Uh, it's now a really interesting system, and it's a lot faster on collision detection. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I'm just thinking. 
like uh, I've done a lot of stuff it's just hard to remember everything um, I think that's about it though the abstraction for uh, tags and whatnot is a big thing and the way it syncs online is nice I might actually later on actually make it where it downloads files if it's missing if, it, uh, if a server creates custom files or custom DSPs or whatever um, yeah that's about it uh, oh yeah, I also um, messed with how uh, maps are maps are created. So later on, it'll all have a tool that'll allow you to make maps similar to like you know uh, Unreal Unreal Engine, where you can place message meshes down and create a map that way. Uh, there'll be a very similar system. You can also just import maps from 3ds Max or where whatever. It doesn't really matter, but uh, you know that's stuff that's coming in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, you know, if you want to get up updated on the information, just watch my channel or, you know, subscribe or whatever. Uh, thanks.